Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of NASCAR Heat 2 Career. As always, I'm Ed Soundhead, and today we're headed to Kentucky for the first race of the round of 12, the first race of the playoffs. So uh, we're going to go ahead and head to the track here, and it uh, should be a good race. Obviously, Kentucky is one of those tracks where it's kind of hit or miss, so we'll be seeing how it goes here, and uh, hoping for a good start to the round of 12. So we are underway here at Kentucky, stage one. Which will be four laps, so uh, just got to pass some of these guys to get to the front. Oh, a little contact with Bubba Wallace. It's going to put me below the apron, and I'm going to spin. Yep. Oh, great. And I tried to correct it, and right back up into traffic. Ouch. All right, so a tough start there. Stage one, not quite the plan, but... A lot of racing to go still. Stage two is underway. Same objective. Just got to get up to the front. And Sadler's like sideways. I'm going to run right into the back of him. He's going to get sideways here. And I think he's going to spin out. But we're right here at the end of stage two anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Come home 12th. So having a decent race so far. The stage one was a bit of a fail. Stage two is just kind of mediocre. So, hoping for stage three, a better result. We don't have to pit. Everybody else does. So, we just got to ride around here and get to the front. I think these guys are coming to the pits right here. Oh, my God. Ryan Reed just slammed Tyler Reddick. Wow. And there go the leaders. And, of course, just what I didn't need. All yeah, right. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Just what I didn't need. Because um, now everybody's got fresher tires than I do. And we're all back on the same thing with only two laps to go. These guys are probably just going to leave me for chips. It's not even funny. But these guys are probably just going to blow past me. And there goes Brendan Poole. I'm like rubbing him, trying to keep him by my side here. Turns three and four seem to be our better corners. And I... I the tires are so worn that Brendan Poole even got a run on me on the outside and he was able to hang tough so well it looked like we probably were going to win this race and uh, until that last caution came out and now uh, now I don't know although we are making pretty good progress here on Blake Cook and we will actually be kind of right on him so just having to take it easy I said we were better in turns three and four. Really, that's really not accurate. Really, turns one and two are our better corners. So I kind of misspoke there. But we actually do get the pass for a lead here with one lap to go. So we tend to gain most of our ground in turns one and two. So this is uh, this is where if we're going to make any ground, this is the spot to do it. We got Brendan Poole just pretty close behind us. We do get a little gap on him there. He dives low. Brendan Gons behind him. And this is, uh, we're just going to have to keep it nice and clean in this final set of corners here. And Brennan Poole is going to stay behind us. It looks like even through a little bit of adversity there, we're going to come home with the win at Kentucky. So very, very nice. Good recovery there from a little bit of, uh, I guess, blown strategy, you could call it. So good stuff. So got first, William Byron wins the stages. But we win the race. So not a bad deal. Make out with over a hundred thousand dollars. And there is your playoff standings. Obviously, well above everybody else. We're pretty much gonna get carried right into Homestead with the amount of playoff points we have. Um so that's not even uh that's not even worried, and it doesn't really matter, obviously, because we're advanced through the round of twelve anyway. So we just got two races to take out of the way, collect our trophy, and we'll head back to the shop. And that is a few more checks on the incentive. Joey Gase is holy cow, 15 Xfinity season wins. It's good for us. And the next race will be at Dover. So let's go ahead and jump into that. And here we are at Dover. Dover, one of those tracks again. Kind of hit or miss, usually, uh... Just need a clean race, really. So, just need to not spin out, obviously, because I feel like we do that just about every time we come here. 
So if we don't just spin it out, I think we'll be all right. And coming out of turn four, Brandon Brown, we're going to rub him up just a little bit. We'll come home 20th in stage one. All right, so a decent stage one really just was passing cars and getting to the front. And uh, going to try and do the same thing here in stage two. So, fortunately, uh, Mike Lynette there is going to kind of hog the bottom, which means we have to ride the top. But we actually get a pretty good run off the top here. We'll be able to get to the bottom, which is where we tend to shine at. So as long as we make some good progress here, it looks like we might have a decent uh, decent run. It seems that we really get our speed out of the corners on the, uh, the corner exit. So if I take it easy in the corner entry, you should be all right. So, uh, yeah, might be looking at a good race here at Dover today. Coming home for stage two in the sixth position. So, got some points. Got a few more spots to, to get, though. So, uh, lost a couple positions there on the pit stop. Good jump on the restart. But just, I just don't know if we're going to be able to get by some of these front runners. It's, it's going to be tough because this car, it's it's really not handling all that well. And then case in point right there, it's way up the track. William Byron's going to get to my inside. I'll try to dive bomb there and it actually worked out fairly well. Gotta get on the outside of Blake Cook, a little bit of contact with him. Harrison Rhodes and Suarez are side by side. So don't want to be three wide for too long. And unfortunately, it looks like they're, of course, going to stick it out up there. And I'm going to get tight and contact. And are you kidding me? There goes all of our progress that we made. That's just great. Wow. Well. Oh, and I wrecked Brennan gone, too. <laughs> Man, this race, is, and he comes back up across the track and hits us. Wow. Why? Man, so a good race gone bad, it would seem here. Just got to, I was hoping for a top five because if we don't get to the top five, we're going to fail our incentive contract. So that would, that would suck. I don't think we're going to get there either because I'm just so tight and I'm in the wall again. This is a joke. Yeah, and just way up the track. Yep. All right, well, we blew it. I blew it here at Dover. I hate this track. <laughs> Ugh. I just see... I I can never just have a solid, just decent run. I about spun myself out just now. Gosh, man. I just get, the car just gets so tight. Just I like It doesn't matter how slow I take it. It just gets so freaking tight. It bothers me. Well, that's going to be it here. Coming out of the final corner. We'll rub up... Bubba Wallace for the 15th, 14th position. Uh, what an absolute joke of a race. The three wide really screwed us. Otherwise, we might have had a, a solid race, and then it uh, it really just tanked after that three wide hit on the inside wall. After that, it was it was just a snowball effect. All right, so back at the shop. Of course, we failed our incentive requirements, so that'll. That'll get rid of that little extra bonus we had coming for us. But next is Charlotte, so let's shake it off and get on it. So here at Charlotte, you know, there's a lot of grandstands in Charlotte. And it's hard to look, look how many seats are on this front stretch. It's kind of crazy how many people can fit there, and they've even taken seats out. You know, on the back stretch and in the corners on some of them. So we're underway. You know the deal. Just got to get some spots and uh, have a better run than we did at Dover. Oh my goodness. And uh, again, stage one is over. Up into 18th. Alrighty, and back underway for stage two. These races have just been kind of snoozers, other than Dover just being frustrating. So this might be a short episode. Guess we'll see. Finally caught up to Suarez here with the... Final lap of stage two underway now. And I'm just going to send it in low and deep here. And oh, I come up on him. But we do get the position. 
Blake Cook might be just a little bit too far out of reach for the stage two win, but second place is not bad. I guess it depends on how good a set of corners we have, and we do have a good set of corners, but not quite going to get to them. So Blake Cook will win stage two. We'll come home second. Not bad. Not a bad stage two. Just uh, passing cars. <laughs> I feel like all I ever do is pass cars, and here we are having to do it again because uh, we pitted. All the front runners pitted, no, and nobody else did, and they all can't make it, but we can't. So, again, it's just going to be getting to the front and uh, putting as many cars between myself and Blake Cook and Daniel Suarez and everybody else. So, and Suarez has just left me on the outside. So, uh, yeah, we'll be getting to the inside of Ray Black Jr. here. We'll try to kind of leave them stuck out there. Man, send it in deep. But we do got a spot. On the outside here. And oh my god, up in front of us. A big crash. Oh, and the AI takes us right into it. Great. Man. So, big AI crash brings out the late race caution. We are in the lead. So just going to be a uh, process of hanging on and... We'll get ourselves a win here in Charlotte if uh, nothing else goes wrong. Hopefully. And coming out of turn four for the final time, we will win at Charlotte. That's another one in the books. So, very nice. Solid set of races in the round of 12. And uh, four guys will go home, <laughs> basically. So we win. Blake Cock gets the stage. I said Blake Cock. <laughs> Blake Cook will get the stage wins. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, 7.8 million. And look at the look at the eliminations down there. Those are some big names: Eric Jones, Brendan Gunn, Cole Custer, Michael Annette out of the chase early. That's kind of surprising. So, uh, wow. Eric Jones and. Cole Custard, I feel like those guys have been running up to the front a lot this year, already out of the playoffs. So We'll take another trophy, and we'll go ahead and head back to the shop for a job well done. And we make it into the round of eight. Get another win. Eric Jones, even though he just got eliminated, congratulates us on making it forward to the round of eight. So... Thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, next up is the round of eight. The first race will be at Kansas, so make sure to tune into that. And I will see you guys in the next one.